Hello again, Real Life fans. Welcome back for another Should You Pull, Should You Ban video. Uh, this is uh, a couple days late. Uh, happy, happy birthday to Saijo Claudine, our favorite French stage girl. That being, she is the only uh, French stage girl that we are aware of uh, in the universe. Uh, for her birthday, she is being cast as Edward Teach, who we may know best as Blackbeard. Is she worth your gems? Or will she just steal them? And when you see her in PvP, what should you do? I'll answer these questions and more in my review of Edward Teach. Now, I don't possess her, so we'll have to use the stats that I have on hand and not what you're seeing on screen. She does have very high act power, Zeus uh, comparable, uh, close to 2100. Her physical defense is actually pretty sturdy. She's close to 1200 on that. Uh, but her special defense is razor, razor thin. So as far as dealing with current PvP threats, very much of them are uh, special attackers. She's going to struggle. And the key stat is her agility, which is 1780. It is absolutely key. And when we're talking about PvP, uh, it is the main thing to consider when you're considering should you pull or should you ban for her stats uh, or for her acts I should say she has slash of brilliance always good I love slashes of brilliance target acquired is cool name 2 AP and auto 3 AP uh, auto marks the front three this is in my opinion just a direct upgrade over uh, Red Riding Hood um, and then morale boost which is kind of like a uh, it, it's a non climax form of uh, of uh, happy if you're familiar with that term that would be captain otterdu um, it doesn't increase agility which is a big part of that uh, but the normal defense up is actually really really nice um, it's 20 percent increased to all of those act power dexterity and to normal defense uh, so very very nice probably the best part of her kit um, we were talking about her climax act uh, she deals high damage to three enemies with the lowest HP. So not the front three. You can't anticipate it as well as like with the Snow White counter heal. But the huge downside is it's six attacks uh, or six hits. So super counter heal food and especially considering her agility, which is 1780, which is seven slower than uh, Sailor Marion, seven slower than uh, Hifumi, much slower than Snow White and slower than uh, um, Maya, Tier Maya, who will be coming up pretty soon. So her counter heal is less applicable. Uh, it's nice. Counter heal is always nice, but it, it seems like it's almost just thrown in there as something to spice up the kit, but uh, doesn't really um, seem great. So uh, for her unit skill, this is a huge disappointment. Um, it is not a mid-row skill, which is really affects her stock. Um, her auto skills are pretty nice. Um, she it you know fits her third character. Fortitude is freaking great, um, and then she deals extra damage. So nice. That that's that's really nice. Uh, so should you see her? Let's let's start with should you pull. Uh, sorry, Claudine fans. Unless you really love her, then you pull. But if you don't, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even do the three steps for her birthday banner on this one. Uh, she is pretty disappointing. Um, she doesn't fit well into the current meta. Um, she's not great even in the in the Cosmos Triangle PvP we're in right now. Her counter heal is not useful. Um, if you can't run, you know, Hifumi and Marion at the top levels in PvP right now, why would you run Edward Teach? Uh, if you need a counter healer, I still might hesitate from pulling her even then. Uh, she just doesn't have uh, the the greatest utility. Mark and the raising morale are great for making damage, but um, just straight up damage st teams based on stats and not on a unit skill is just 
uh, pretty old school and I don't see it making a comeback anytime soon. So should you ban her? Absolutely not. Um, Venus, any, anyone that you're worried about that you would be dealing with counter heal, this one's she's even slower. She doesn't have a gust or anything like that that can make her scary. The raising morale is, you know, if, if you run against it, that does make it a little bit uh, scary, but they also just spent 3 AP using that. So uh, really nothing I'm afraid of when it comes to Blackbeard. Now, if you do have her, how should you use her? I would probably use her as a late game um, climax. The counter heal again is really not something I'm looking to use because if you go up against someone with counter heal, those six hits are more of a liability uh, than the counter heal is a uh, is a boost to your team. So some I probably consider running permanent perfect aim and then she targets the three lowest HP percentage enemies so she can help with cleanup after the first final act. So like I, uh, just to make that clear, permanent perfect aim uh, or maybe permanent agility on her uh, so that in case of any ties you do have the advantage. But uh, yeah, I, I would not anticipate running her with a ton of brilliance because the six hits are just so rough to deal with and she's too slow for a counter healer. Uh, if you have any additional questions, uh, please put them in the comments below. I apologize if I kind of stumbled over some things of doing this in one take because uh, I failed to get a video out yesterday, so why not get two videos out? Anyway, hit like, hit subscribe. Good luck in your reviews. Good luck in your polls. I will see you later. Thank you very much.